Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamir Elaine. For those of you who are new, for those of you who are not new, um, thank you all so much for coming back and supporting my channel. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to see, actually if you read the title, you know what this video is about. So if you would like to see all about my lock update, then just keep on watching. So I decided to do this video a lot different than how I've done like my lock videos in the past. I have been following um, this girl, her name on YouTube. Let me make sure I get it right. This l bell royal beauty i'll tag her channel so i have i've been following her log journey since i started my log journey she's probably one of the only youtubers that i that has dreads that i've been following like along with her log journey and i really like the setup of how she does her log updates so i'm going to kind of mock the way that she sets hers up so the way that she sets hers up is I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm doing, um, what I'm going to continue to do, and then what I'm going to stop doing as far as my locks go. So it has literally been a year and five months since I've had my locks and it has been a long year. <laughs> it has been a long year and five months, not even going to lie. Like okay so i really don't want to get off topic so let me just start with what i'm currently doing so i typically wash my hair i'll start with like wash retwist products and then go from there so i typically wash my hair about every month this changed from the beginning because i used to wash my hair about like every two weeks or three weeks or so and that was because my hair gets really really dirty fast so even if you've been following my channel for a very long time when i have my natural hair you know that i have very dry scalp and the locks didn't change that i thought it did originally but it didn't so when i first started doing my locks my scalp was fine I, it wasn't as flaky it wasn't as dry but now that my locks are maturing now and that they're a lot longer i'm starting to see the flakiness a lot more my scalp is very dry very irritable I just wash my hair like once a month because throughout that month i try to just make sure that my scalp is very well taken care of so moisturized and it's not dry and especially since it's the winter time i really don't want my hair or anything to be dry so i wash my hair about every month and then right afterwards i twist it the only time i would not wash my hair once a month is if literally there's product buildup or it's just too dirty like my hair is too dry it needs some water okay it needs some water some moisture whatever it is that'll be the only time i actually wash my hair maybe every two weeks okay so when i wash my hair i did change the products that i use so i'm going to show y'all the products that i use now and i actually got this shampoo and conditioner from marshall's and i absolutely love it i probably i like it way better than the shampoo and conditioner i was using um previous to this so these this is the shampoo and conditioner so it's the black jamaican castor oil shampoo and conditioner it looks like this and it says that it's for moisture and growth and i really like that it just has those oils so it has the castor oil and then it also has argan oil um, and because my scalp like i said is really dry this just helps put a lot of moisture back into my hair so before i started using these products i never really used to condition my hair i don't know i thought it was kind of pointless since i had dreads like i didn't i don't know i just never saw like the point in conditioning my hair but now i do so i do condition my hair with the conditioner and i do really notice a big difference in my hair my hair is a lot softer my scalp it just looks cleaner when i use both of these products and it looks my hair looks very moisturized and very healthy so i have a lot left because i just got these like a few months ago and because i only wash my hair once a month i have a lot of product left but i'm hoping that i'll be able to like i'm pretty sure i'll be able to find these online because I don't know if y'all shop at marshall's they don't be having the same stuff all the time so i just feel like if i was to go back to marshall's to kind of find this it wouldn't be there 
but at least I know the brand, which is okay. And I'll be able to get it like if I ever run out. So I use these to wash my hair. Once I wash my hair, I usually retwist it, okay? Everything I do is at night. I do not like to wash my hair like in the morning um, or in the afternoon because I like to retwist my hair right afterwards. And I don't sit up under a dryer or anything like that. I usually leave my clips in. So, I don't know. I just like to leave my clips in overnight to really ensure that my hair is dry and that my twist outs are perfect though, okay? So, the product that I have been using to retwist my hair, hair hasn't changed. I kind of want to change it up. I love this product, um, but I think I want to add something to it. Like, I think I want to use this and another product. So, when I was watching Elle Bell's uh, video, she uses aloe vera gel to actually do her retwist. So, I think I want to try that just to see, like, if there's a difference that I feel in my locks. But I'm still, I still want to use this along with it. Now, the reason why I don't want to change or stop using this is because this product really, really have it, it has my locks when I retwist them. They look so clean. Oh my god, they look so clean, and they look so like well done. They look professionally done. And this stuff smells so dang gone good. Oh my god. It smells like lemons. Like lemon meringue pie. Okay. Daisy, move back. Smells like lemon meringue pie. And a little goes a long way. So when I'm retwisting my hair, I literally put a little bit on my finger. And I put it on my root. And then I twist it that way. If you all want an updated video of how I retwist my locks, please give this video a thumbs up or comment down below. I've only done like a retwist video when I had my starter locks when I was first starting in my journey. But now that, you know, I'm um, a year in, I also palm roll my locks. So if you all want that video, then just let me know. But yeah, so I don't think I'll ever stop using this, but I do want to incorporate the aloe vera gel with my retwist process. So I think I will, I did a video, well I didn't do a video on this product, but Darius recommended this product to me because I originally used castor oil to moisturize my scalp. I've been using castor oil since I became natural and I don't know I just never really strayed away from it or tried different oils which I feel like I should. So he recommended this um wow growth hair oil and I used it for like a few weeks and I don't know why but I feel like it's making my scalp a lot more dry. Like it's making it very, very, very dry. And I started to notice that when I would use this to oil my scalp, I would itch. Like I would, my scalp would itch a lot more. So I was like, and it was becoming annoying. Like it was, I was scratching so much. Okay. I was scratching so much that I was like, yeah, no. So I stopped using this and just continue to use my castor oil. Those are actually the only products that I use. I've used this once on my actual locks. So whenever I see that like my locks are very dry, especially like in the winter months, I just use a um, spray bottle to kind of like spray around to put some moisture back into it and then i'll put some of this um shea yogurt like in the middle of my palm and kind of rub it together and put it all over my hair just to kind of moisturize it a little bit more and also this stuff smells really 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 good so yeah i don't use it that often now this smells like ice cream I got hella food items for what this stuff smells like. But no, this stuff smells really, really good. But I don't use it as often as I should for my locks. Especially because I feel like more often than not, um, during these months, my hair has been super, super dry. So, yeah. And this is Shea, York, Shea Yogurt um, Hair Moisturizer by Allocate Naturals. I actually used to use this when I used to do my twist outs on my fro when I have my natural hair. Yeah, 
yeah, those are pretty much all of the products that I use for my hair. Things that I know that I'm gonna continue to do for my locks is washing my hair every month, retwisting my hair. I do use, let me show y'all. I use these clips. I literally just got these from like the beauty supply store. But I use these clips. I try to like insert a picture of my hair retwisted as well so you can see how they look. But it's these like clips to hold um, my twist in place when I'm retwisting my hair. So I'm going to continue to use those. Those are a little bit uncomfortable, especially to sleep in. But I find that my twists just come out looking very professional and very nice. So I'm going to continue to use them. I'm going to continue to use the shampoo and conditioner that I have as well as the castor oil and um the the locking cream wax to keep retwisting my hair so the things that i know that i'm gonna stop completely doing with my hair is i have had a bad habit of pulling at my locks and it will usually be like i mean if you have locks <laughs> you probably know what i'm talking about but you know how you get those little knots at the end of your locks and it gets it's like a part of your hair that's really really thin and you can literally just pull it off i've had a bad habit of that and every one that i find on a lock i try to pull off and i really want to get out of the habit of doing that only because i don't really know if it's damaging my hair or not i just do it just because i feel like it's a knot on the end of my lock but i do want to stop doing that i also have a bad habit of so i used to have really really thin locks so i don't know if you all can tell but you see these two locks i'm looking on my screen right here you see these two locks right you see the length of these two locks now let's take the locks on this side right the length of these two locks right and the reason that is is because i pulled them out i pulled the lock out because it was so thin it had become so thin and i don't know i just had a bad habit of like pulling it and that's just is really 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 not good for my hair so i had to i need to stop <laughs> I can't say had because I have not stopped, but I need to stop pulling at my dress, especially if they're thinning. I have not found a way to help with my locks that are thin. There were only a few, I'll say those in particular. There's one in the middle of my head that's really, really thin, but all of my other ones are pretty much fine. I really don't, I need to figure out a way to help it because I think the more that I'm retwisting it, the thinner it's getting. So eventually it's going to come out anyway. I can just cut it off. I actually did that to one of my locks in the back, like my little beta beads. It had got so thin that I'm like, the more I keep retwisting it, it's literally going to come out. So I just cut it off. And, um, yeah so those are things that i know i'm gonna stop doing now the things that i want to start doing with my locks is experimenting on a lot more so if you follow me on instagram or even watch my youtube videos and things like that you probably notice that i always wear my locks the same way which is this little chandelier to the side okay it ain't even really nothing special i really don't do anything special to my hair and one reason is because when i was wearing ponytails so before when my locks actually weren't even this long i used to wear the like half up half down my little buns i used to do the two buns to the side i used to style my locks a lot more but i started noticing that my i don't know the pulling started to get annoying and it started to hurt a lot more and i would have headaches so i've been trying to find styles that didn't require me to actually pull on my hair i mean i can't just not have the ponytail as tight but i don't know for the sake of the styles that i have it kind of looks better when it's pulled tight back you know so i stopped doing styles altogether, but i know that's something that i want to start doing more of especially in 2019 so i actually will be filming a 
video on how to style like short medium i guess locks so stay tuned for that but i do want to start styling my locks more i also want to start wearing like lock jewelry so the little clips that people put on their locks even the rope um usually those are also jewelry pieces that people put on their box braids and then i also want to start putting masks hair masks on my hair i also thought that that was pointless because i had locks but i do think that there are benefits of you know doing a hair mask just for that extra moisture softness dryness all of that good jazz so i do want to start doing that a lot more but yeah so far i'll say my hair has gotten so long it's it's really really growing there was a point in time where i wanted to cut my dress not even gonna lie i was like yo i'm just i'm really getting tired of it i felt like you know there's nothing else for me to do with my hair but that's also because i wasn't experimenting with them and doing different styles and stuff like that so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna cut them or not even cut them comb them out try to comb them out you know and do something like that but i think that i just have to start like i said experimenting a lot more with my hair and doing different things so that i can at least say that i've tried something before i just up and give them up but i do feel great with my dreads i literally love my hair and it's growing so freaking much oh my god that's probably like my biggest thing it's growing so much especially my back it's like neck length like it, it covers my neck so this is pretty much my hair it's literally been a year and five months that's crazy that is so crazy i'll have any other products that you all want me to try out on my youtube channel to review if there are shampoo and conditioners hair mask anything like that any products that you would like me to try on my locks please let me know i will be happy to try them i've just never tried any because i don't know which ones to try but if you all want me to review some just let me know i am like i said going to be filming a style video for my locks so stay tuned for that and yeah thank you all so much for watching this video and for sticking with me on my lock journey i swear to you i keep looking at like when i first started my locks my first video of me actually doing my locks and we hit a thousand views y'all like that is a big deal for my channel and even my retwist for my starter locks hit a thousand views okay it we just own it shopping for <laughs> the lock videos <laughs> so let's get this video to first let's get it to 100 views because i need my videos to at least average 100 views so let's get this video to 100 views okay then we're gonna hit the 200 and 300 and the phone and five okay we're just gonna keep going up from there but yes thank you all so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye